Ellie, the day we meet in season two is very different from the one from season one. How so, in your opinion? Uh, I feel like all the Cleons have a healthy dose of ego, but this Cleon, uh, uh, I think in response to an empire that's fraying, he has, um, he has a, an extra dose of ego, and just as there was Cleon the first, he's going to be Cleon the last, and he's going to figure out a way to end the genetic dynasty by marrying, you know, this um, Queen Sarah and taking a bride, and kind of, you know, taking the the um, the the the, uh, the dynasty back to before the genetic dynasty to the line of empresses that were. Um, that had ruled the galaxy previously. Another part of the fun is that uh, I think his his true soulmate is the woman who raised him and advises him, runs the galaxy on his behalf, is now his lover and is a robot. Now, Laura, season two uh, peels off uh, several layers of the onion in terms of uh, Demerzel's backstory. What was it like for you to explore this side of your character? Well, I love the, the, the backstory, the whole kind of how she became part of the, the, the empire. I, I found the writing so beautiful. So it was so interesting. I love the, I love to, to explore kind of like her like traumas and her secrets. And then kind of like having that knowledge and then playing with the kind of way she manipulates and softly kind of controls the men, you know, because as the further the, the, they drift from their origin, also her ways to protect her mission to protect the genetic dynasty her ways become much more extreme and idiosyncratic so it's it was fun like to know those secrets kind of have all that knowledge and then to play with the way she has to operate with these with these lovely emperors with not a tiny mm -hmm. ego now Shakespeare said that heavy is the head who wears the crown and that is especially true for day in season two now is he struggling with this burden I, I, I'm struggling. I don't think that he is struggling. I think he's got absolute confidence in his ability to be the hero of this story. I think he thinks he's got everything at his disposal. He's strong, he's smart, he's in his prime, and he is going to um, save the day. That's what I think that, I think that's, he doesn't see any other option. You know, he's, and I think, but I think, you know, kind of casting yourself um, unwaveringly as the hero creates a lot of blind spots um, and it's in those blind spots that I think the really interesting aspects of the character mm -hmm. emerge like not quite being aware that this love relationship is um, maybe more than it seems uh, and uh, and that he isn't as powerful as he had thought and yeah. maybe there are other potential heroes in the galaxy. Laura, what was it like for you to navigate the dynamic between Day and Demerzo? I love that we get to explore so many different versions of their relationship and kind of this one, I felt it was so playful. It, I, I think I also got to explore the other side of Demerzo and because we don't know exactly what's going on, kind of like, right. you know, and, and also I think there is, you know, she's, they're her family let it be like a dysfunctional family but they're her family they are her people that they are like the only people that she actually spends time with so kind of this day oh, I also I think every time it's interesting for her to see what comes up of of that little boy that she raises and even though it's not I don't I don't think it's easier she enjoys to see all of all of the versions of the cleans but I think she's intrigued and also like she has her power and the, the the power play that she kind of does behind it, it's 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 entertaining. I think that family drama is really um, is very intriguing. And you know, this this is a massively ambitious story. Um, absurd at times. Like this this whole situation is an absurd riddle. That I, I think, uh, you know, as an audience member taking in the story, I kind of think these riddles are interesting. These riddles you can kind of apply to your own, um, look at the politics around you, look at the, the relationships you have inside your own family. Mm. Um, and, uh, and that's, I think, one of the, the pleasures of science fiction like this.